Take one man with a driving compulsion. Give him his chance to destroy it. That's our story, Captive, taken from the files of John Steele, adventurer. Hello, friends. This is John Steele. This week's story is laid in the steaming heat of the tiger country. You know, it's always been my practice to try to space my guests from week to week so that their adventures are different, geographically and in situation. That's why I was pleased to run into Jim Madden this week. I first met Jim when he was on an expedition in the jungle near Saigon in Indochina. I thought I knew him pretty well during those first three years down there, but... When he tells his story, you'll see as I did, how much a man hides of his real feelings. Folks, this is Jim. It's funny how a man will hang on to something year after year, even when he knows it doesn't make sense. It had been like that with me ever since we'd finished that last expedition. The others didn't lose any time packing for the States, and we were all up to here with sweaty jungles and mosquitoes and malaria. I hated it as much as they did, but I didn't go back with them. I couldn't. Not yet. I got a little native hut on the edge of Saigon, a few days' ride from the bush, near enough to push into it every chance I could for three years. I got to know it like the lines in my hand. Hunting parties coming through seemed to like the idea of an English-speaking guide. There weren't many of them, but it kept me going. I had to take a lot of ribbing from the local barflies. It didn't stop me, though. You please get flat, Jim. Huh? Matter, Jim, you got a safari coming up? Must be. Always gets that dreamy yeah, look. Yeah, he... it does look kind of stupid, don't he? Eh? Sure. <laughs> ain't you heard? Jim's in love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. Hey, Jim, that ain't no way to talk. Now, if I knew a beautiful Hey, maybe babe... it's the American dame over there with the little guy. If you came today? Nah, Jim don't bother with no female but one. Lay off, will you? Being in love ain't good for a jungle guide, you know. Sure, get sore. In the <laughs> head. <laughs> hey, say, say, Jim... You seen the new native gal over Herb's joint? Why, you know Jim ain't interested in waitresses, pal. Uh, I am, boy. Real warm skin and slanty eyes. Pretty in one eye. Well, what do you want Jim to meet her? He never introduced her to you his... go get her, Jim? The native girl? I no, told you. No, no, no. One eye. Sure be nice to have her on the house, Jim. Jim bring one eye home? Yeah. Why, man, Jim's a real lover boy. He just stands around and worships. He don't do nothing. <laughs> Fade, you guys. <laughs> Smell it, Jim. You lose your nerve? Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, she's got him where she wants him, all right. <laughs> well, I'll get her, wise guys. As soon as I have the dough for another trip. Hey, uh, you know, Joe, seems to me I heard that before. Yeah, about uh, three years ago now, wouldn't you say, Bill? Yeah. <laughs> when did it... Giving you a hard time, Jim? Mm-hmm. Oh, hi, John. No, no, I'm just doing it. Jim's playing puss in the corner, Mr. Steele. <laughs> say, Jim... Remember Dick Manning, don't you? Mm, sure, sure. I'd like to see old dead-eyed Dick. Then start packing. What? Got a letter from him this morning. Asked me to look you up. Yeah? What for? Remember Dick left here to take over his dad's geology labs? Mm, good break, too. Yeah. Dick's done well with it, too. He'd just been given an endowment by the government for a whole new branch lab in New York. Oh, swell. Tell mm-hmm. him I said congratulations. Dick wants you to run it. I'm sorry. I can't make it. But good night, man. It pays 10000 Sorry. You could use 10000 I know, John. Tell him thanks anyway. One eye, huh? Well, I'm... Okay, Jim. Uh, I won't be answering his letter till uh, the end of the week. Take it over, son. Huh. A week. Two weeks, two years. I'll get her or nobody will. You sound very sure of yourself, Mr. Huh? Madden. You are James Madden, the guide, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, I'm Danny Master. Pat, Miss Dennis, and I are down here to do a story. She takes pictures. We're from Rifle and Line magazine. I know. No kidding. It's not so surprising, Danny, considering the New York papers. We don't get New York papers, Miss Dennis. Really? News about me gets around faster News than... News about I... any visitor moves fast down here. Your local gossips tell you my father owns right I'm impressed, Miss Dennis. What I was trying to say, Mr. Madden, is that I'm prepared to pay you. Oh, well... That puts you on another plane. Oh, Pat means, Jim, we'd appreciate it if you'd be our guy. Oh, stop bowing and scraping, Danny. We're hiring, Mr. Madden. What kind of animals are you looking for? Well, I don't know. Sladang, wild elephants, tigers, whatever we have. Have a credit card for me at the hotel desk this afternoon. Well, sure. 
Thanks, Jim. That's well. I'm quite sure the gratitude is on Mr. Madden's side, Annie. How so, Miss Dennis? It's your job. Yeah. And I believe I overheard you say if you had the, um, dough, you'd... Yeah? This, uh, what did you call her? one eye. She must be very unusual. Oh, Pat, he doesn't want to... You talk. know, Mr. Madden, I'd really like to see the kind of female you're so wrapped up in. Would you? You'll meet her, if you're lucky. Hey, Jim, how far do we go by car? About 200 miles. We'll make camp at the edge of the tall cane where the road ends. Road? Might have selected something more comfortable than pickup truck. Roads like this, you'd ruin a good car. Look at the poor natives piled in the other one. Must be hot as oh, Don't be absurd, Danny. After all, they're just natives. They're good men. That it up ahead, Jim? Yeah. Gee, never thought I'd see the jungle again. I don't see anything so wonderful. Just woods and tall caves. And tigers. Yeah. Well, what are we stopping? Shut up. Mr. Madden, I, I have said to... shut up. Danny, take over, will you? Yeah. What on earth? Just follow the natives. They'll know where to pitch camp. What's up, Jim? Nothing. I'll meet you later. You're taking your rifle. I'm coming with Sit you. Sit still. All right, Danny, get going. All right. They hadn't heard it, but they hadn't been listening for it like I had. I'd have known a tigress call anywhere. Maybe it wasn't one eye, but I had to find out. And I had to be alone, because if it was one eye, I was going to get it. Not Danny, not Pat Dennis. Shadows between the trees were black patches now. I'd picked up her pug marks for a while, but it was getting too dark to see anything. She might be crouching in the thickets waiting for me to pass. I noticed the air was suddenly very still. The monkeys and peacocks were quiet. I knew she was close by now, somewhere in the shadows. And then I saw her. She was lying in a small clearing by a high rock, not in a crouched position. She was asleep. I crawled forward and watched her from behind a tree. The zigzag of the scar over her blind eye looked deeper than I'd remembered in the dim light. I raised the Springfield carefully and took a sight on her forehead. My eye wandered down over her heavy body. Her stomach was heaving in big, regular breaths. She was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I don't know how long I stood there looking at her, my finger on the trigger, the rifle hard against my jaw. My hands felt sweaty on the cool barrel. Three years I'd waited for this. But I didn't shoot. Next time, maybe, I stood up slowly and headed back for camp. <laughs> You didn't eat your dinner, Mr. Madden. I'm not hungry. Is that what it's like? What? Being in love. I don't get it. Yesterday, your friends in the bar. Oh. <laughs> no, no, Miss Dennis, that's not it. They said other interesting things about you, I noticed. Oh, you notice a lot. Just in order to put two and two together. Get four? Only about three and a half. It's a good average. The um, missing half is one eye. I'm not very good at fast repartee, Miss Dennis. Slowly, then. This one eye is an animal, isn't it? So? A cat? Tigress. I thought so. Why? I like seeing people react. This is a new kind of stimulant. I'm a guide, not a guinea pig. Why, Mr. Madden, you're upset. You mind your business, I'll mind mine. It's a very pleasant program. I like it. By the way, speaking of animals... We weren't. What was that you heard on the road today? Why? A tiger. You're telling or asking? That's why you wouldn't let us go. You're crazy. You went along to scare the tiger off. But it all figured, huh? Yes. So you wouldn't have to You're kill. You're nuts. I don't think so. Killing animals bothered you a great deal, doesn't it, Mr. Madden? Hey. <laughs> you think... <laughs> you think I've got buck fever. Exactly. Oh, no. Forget it, lady. I'm the bloodthirstiest... Are thing. you? Sure. Sorry. I don't think you're much of an actor. No. Well, frankly, Miss Dennis, I don't care what you think. Good morning, Mr. Madden. Mm -hmm. Hi, everybody. Well, they just start, huh? You can stand the heat. It's hot, all right. Now, look, why don't you two hang around camp today, get used to this? Oh, uh, not me, Bob. I'm going hunting. 
You're frowning, Mr. Madden. Rather, I laughed out loud. Oh, hey, will you quit, you two? Gee, you think you were married the way you... Well, I'm had... sure Mr. Madden knows what I'm thinking. Sorry, afraid not. Danny, did you know there's a tiger near here? No kidding. Mr. Madden heard it on the road yesterday. A tiger? Well, why didn't you say something, boy? Well, there wasn't time to tell you what to do. Well, and let's it's... get it now. It should still be around. That depends. How come? It might have been scared off. Isn't that true, Mr. Madden? No. Wait to tell us by the buffalo bait we spread around this morning. Now, Miss Dennis can set up her cameras near oh, that. Oh, no. I'm going in myself. You want pictures, don't you? Of course. Well, wild animals don't pose, Miss Dennis, not even for you. Why? Sure, Pat, that's a way. Just set up cameras with string traps. Animal goes to bait, snaps his own picture. I only have two cameras, and I'm not getting them smashed. Get better pictures if you do it. I believe I made myself clear. Okay, okay. And I'm going to get me a tiger rug. Now, this section of the jungle is pretty dense. You need flash bulbs. The string system would really Are be... Are you trying to tell me? How... I'm trying to tell you wild animals are easily frightened. They can jump at oh, but you. But you'll just... be there to protect me. Won't you, Mr. Matt? Me too, Pat. I want to crack at those babies. You hear the right story. Oh, sure, but... You're I... carrying the only gun, then, Mr. Madden? Oh, no. Are you? Why should I? That seems to fit, is all. Things aren't always the way you think in the jungle. I'm seldom wrong, Mr. Madden. Well, you're wrong this time, honey, because I'm shooting I'll me. I'll see if I... Etienne has a report. Get your stuff together. Well, I had to get away from Pat Dennis then fast, so I'd have clipped her one right across that beautiful, smug mouth. I'll let her think what she wanted. I couldn't tell her the real reason about one eye. Guy just doesn't say things I felt out loud. But I was going to get that she-tiger. She was my kill when I was ready. We had a late start. Steam was rising up out of the ground, hot and sticky. We haven't gone near one of those carcasses. Natives will let us know if they've been fed on. What are we looking for, Jim? Can't tell what we'll find. What is it? Quiet. What's the matter? Pipe right down. I don't hear anything. Waiting. Hey, I'm coming, too. Get back there. Not me, boy. I want to... back, I told you. I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Oh, for Christ. Mr. Madden, Danny and I are both... You're both, both going to wait right here till I oh, come. Oh, no, we're not. Okay. But keep it quiet. Tiger, Jim? Yeah. Pug marks stop at those rocks up there. Come on, let's get... No, this wait here a minute. Hey, you're not going to start oh, that again. quiet, Danny. I'll see if I can spot it now. Keep down back here. Whistle when you're ready. Sure, whistle. Twice I'll whistle. Ah, there you are. There your tail's showing, baby. Well, if I could just see the rest of her around this rock, I... No, I can't see. Jim! What are you doing? Down here. I can see him. Get out of here. No rock my way here. Let me take him. Danny, no! Don't worry, it's an easy shot. No, don't! <laughs> Nobody could do that with me. What are you saying? My tigress should kill my tigress. Quit chuckling. Kill my tigress. Jump in. Jump in. Go on. Let's go. Let's go. Of all the disgraceful. Gosh, fellow, what did I? Shut up. Should have hit you twice. You could have shut up. Shut up, both of you. He is magnificent. Yeah, quite a guy. He killed me, Jim. Jimmy, could just tell me. Forget it. I still. I said forget it. You want to see Danny's kill, Mr. Madden? That's right. Let's have a look. Sure. Hey, look at that. I did that. Etienne, get ready for skinning. You're not even looking at the tiger, Mr. Madden. I've seen tigers before. Boy, look at those eyes. Eyes? Sure. Look swell over my mouth. Get out of the way. But you weren't interested, Mr. Madden. What's the matter, Jim? It's not... It's not... Not what? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all, Miss Dennis. <laughs> well, hey, Danny boy, this calls for a celebration. Your first tiger. Hey, 
that hat. Hmm? It's a good one. <laughs> Lucky I got something to prove it with. They'd never believe it. You like hunting, huh? Oh, it's swell. I'm raring to get me another. Oh, say, your glass is empty here. Can you... Oh, I shouldn't, Jim. Well, it's a sack if I'm going to kill me a she-tiger tomorrow. Why a she-tiger? Huh? Oh, I don't know. You must have one of each. Male, female. Don't push your luck. Stay healthy. Ah. You said yourself there ain't any man-eaters around. No, but one a nice big tiger. Here, here's a night camp. Okay, for the road, huh? Yeah. Oh, hey, Jim. Hmm? Oh, what are all those little tree houses near the buffaloes for? Oh, the Shans, the hideouts. Sniper tactics, huh? Yeah, I might call it that. Well, that'll be a breeze to me after Pacific duty. Tigress isn't a war criminal. Oh, sure, I know, but it's the same as... No! All I said was... This is your bad day, huh, Buster? Oh, I'm sorry, Danny. Drink up. Oh, he takes it easy. I can have a steady eye tomorrow. Why don't you try Sladang, Danny? You know those wire uh, boxes uh, get pretty... I got the tiger bug. There's something... Oh, something about a tiger. Yeah. What were you saying about the machine? Hmm? Huh? Oh, the Michans. Well, see, as soon as the natives find the carcass that's been fed on, they all get their racket makers. New Year's Eve, huh? Yeah, they bang on trees with sticks mostly. Anything makes noise. The advance is in a big circle toward the tiger. Who's gone by then? No, no, the tiger's not far off. Well, the rest is easy. The natives pass by the Michan, covering me with their yelling and their beating. I just sneak in. We, oui, you mean? Well, tomorrow I thought I'd show you. Why? You said there's nothing to it. How about a hangover? Don't worry about me, Buster. I'm a man who's used to hard liquor. <laughs> uh-huh. Don't you ever get lonesome down here, Jim, year after year? No, not much. If I had to stay this far from the bright lights, I'd well, go to leave. Don't you ever get a yen to see something besides Native women? Little white women in Saigon? Yeah, that kind. I'd like this, I'd sure like to have a cute little redhead. <laughs> Make a pitch for Dennis, why don't you? Hey? Mm. <laughs> She's not a woman. She's the boss's daughter. Oh, she's female. You can have her. Uh, little redhead works on 52nd Street now. Mm. <laughs> the tropical flowers. The smell of them does that to you. Yeah, that and the slugs you've been born. Uh, what then? What are you doing there? The mamzer would like coffee. What? Oh, where is she? In our tent, monsieur. Oh. Hey, Etienne. Wait a minute. I'll take that. Tell her to come on out. Miss Dennis. What do you want? Here's your coffee. Just leave it. I'll be out Get in a minute. Get full of bugs. <sighs> All right. Put it on the table there. Please. Please. What are you waiting for? What, no thanks? Did you come to give me a lesson in etiquette? That would be a good idea. I'll get out of here. <laughs> Ladies and men. Don't flatter yourself. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Now, will you please... Sit down? Sure, don't mind if I do. From now on, Mr. Maddie. My friends all call me Jim. How nice for them. Now, will you... Cut the act, will you? Your act's better than mine. What's that supposed to mean? Why pretend? I don't get it. You'll never kill one eye. Oh, that's where you're wrong, Duchess. Am I? What do you keep harping on that for? All right. If it's not Buck Fever... I told you it's not. You expect me... I expect nothing from you. Good. You wouldn't understand. Am I? No, you've never seen her. She's not like other animals. One blind eye. No, no, it's she... Oh, she's intelligent, smart. A tigress with an IQ. This Look, is... you're uh, quite a tennis player, aren't you, Miss Dennis? Well? Well, you'd rather have a good player beat you than win all the time over... Of course. Get it? I... From the first time I saw one, I, three years ago, I've known I was going to get her someday. Each time I've gone into that bush, I've sworn I'd come back with her pelt, but... Couldn't give up your lollipop, could you? Well, I got kicks out of just... Go on. Ah, uh, you don't get Please. it. Please. Yeah. Well, she's outsmarted me almost every time. Once, through the water. Last time, she let me almost get near enough. And then I found she'd led me right into the tall cane. 
Almost like she's having herself a good laugh every time. This could go on for years, you know. Unless someone else gets a first... No, no one... No, this trip... Really, Mr. Madden? Really, Miss Dennis. You write me about it. You'll be here. See for yourself. Oh. Matter of fact, you're very much here right now. I think you'd better go. Oh, I'll take it easy, Duchess. There's no rank in the jungle. Mr. Madden. That makes his own rules out here. Please. Oh, what are you scared of, Miss Dennis? I'm not... You're frowning, Miss Dennis. Get, get out of... Don't you trust me? Please. No more room to back up. I'll have that tent pole yeah, moved in the morning. Get your hands off me. Would you like a man's arms around you? Get out of here. This is the jungle, <laughs> my girl. Everything by you. I'm sorry I didn't shave, Duchess. Stop that. Don't you dare. Get... Oh. What's the matter, Duchess? You look bothered. <laughs> get out of here. Okay. Wait, Jim. Oh, Jim now, huh? Could have yelled to Dan. Oh, I know it. There's enough coffee for two. Yeah. Well, don't drink it all, Duchess. Might keep you awake. <laughs> <laughs> No, never mind. Try without him. But, monsieur, at five o'clock... You heard me, Etienne. Get my gun. Oui, monsieur. What's up? Go back to bed. Etienne said something about a tiger. Jim? Yeah, 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 a tigress. A sheep. Be right with you. That's what you think. Monsieur, we are ready. Oh, shut up. You want to wake the whole camp? Oh, Jim. Pass up to Oh, fine. You do not wish to use the beetles, monsieur. They are anxious. Ah, we might as well now. Let's go. Jim... Let me have the first. Etienne. Okay? We are ready. No kidding, Jim. How about letting me have the first shot? Shut up. And she, she still feeds. Does, huh? Well, what do we do? See that flat ledge over there? Yeah. Get up there and wait. What for? You can see the whole thing. Hey, I'm not staying by. Get up there! Why am I? Keep Dennis with you. Pat, I haven't even Oh, seen... she's probably still dressing. Go back and get Oh, Jim, I don't want to miss... We'll her. wait. Okay, but don't forget... Okay, boys, let her rip. Wider. Run out. Move. Bigger circles. Louder. Action. All right, now keep them moving. I'm going in. We have flush out. Hey, those. Captain. Pat. What are you doing? I told you I wanted a shot of a tiger. How did you I was with it? the first line of beaters. You crazy. I didn't have a gun. Yes, I have flash guns. I told you you can't use that thing. No. Now listen, if I catch you sticking a bulb in that You'll thing, You'll what? I'll... Hot in here. Yeah, it gets hotter. It's all right. Mosquito netting tied him on your side? Yeah. Jim, what I said about buck fever. Not it, I tell you. Something else? Something I gotta do. I hate waiting. I'll get used to it. Jim, I've been so rotten. You'll do. No, really, Hold I... it. Hold I... it. Is it? Shh. She's feeding now. Oh. How beautiful. Yeah. Jim, I gotta have a picture of her. No, it's too dark. Listen. If you cover me from up here, I can jump to that big lower branch and use the flash. Too risky. Uh, no, as I take Too it. Too big a chance. I was right. What? You can't kill her. You're crazy. When the time comes out. Time's come, Jim. Okay, then. You take the picture. Me? Go on. I'll cover you. Hey, put down that gun. I want that picture. If you're not Give going to... That Give me that gun, Jim. Give me that gun. Not shooting my tigress. Jim. One eye is my private kill, you hear? Your private... Yes. I hear. Okay, okay. Now get ready. 
She's lifting her head. Oh, sure. Some fool was... Bucket, hurry up. It's Danny. You can't. She's my kill. Three years. I know that Jim Madden can play with his own private toy. Private toy. Ready? She's beginning. Yeah. Okay, Pat. No. Here. Oh, <laughs> Okay, Danny. Let her have it. No, Danny. Jim, shoot her. Go shoot- on, Danny. Between the eyes, boys. Kill yourself a one-eyed tigress. You didn't mind. No, I didn't mind, did I, Pat? You better give her more, Danny. <laughs> Nice going. And she's all yours, boy. She's all yours. Rather I walked with Danny. Oh, you know better. Jim, he didn't realize. I know. Good thing. But three years. Still a good thing. I want a ball. Pat, I had a perfect sight from the machine. I know. That's why... Honey, listen. If I'd shot her myself, I'd have only started looking for another one like her. You said she was one of a kind. Well, I'd never have been sure. Always be... Maybe. Yeah. Let's get the first plane, Jim. I want New York. No. Something I gotta do first. Jim. No. Yeah. First, I gotta stop off in Saigon long enough to buy a wedding present. A wedding? Oh. People are supposed to send us. Oh, well, it's not for us, Dutch. It? <laughs> it's from us to Danny. <laughs> The title, Captive, a story of a man who learned the importance of self-denial. And if you like Jim's adventure, why not come back next week, friends? I'll have a story of a man who had to face death to learn how to live. I like to call it the right medicine. So until next week, this is John Steele saying a life of adventure is yours for the asking, wherever you find it. Only don't look for it. It may find you. Well... Goodbye and good hunting. John Steele Adventure is produced by Robert Monroe, directed by Elliot Drake and written by Lois Landauer. John Larkin was heard as Jim. Also in our cast were Ross Martin, Charlotte Manson, and Mort Lawrence. John Steele is played by Don Douglas. Musical effects were by Doc Whipple. Your announcer has been Ted Melly. Remember, next week, Futural presents The Right Medicine, another story of suspense and action from the files of John Steele, adventurer. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.